I'm on my way to get some chicken manure. Uh, I got my trailer, if you can tell, got my trailer by there. And uh, I'm gonna go try to pick me up about six or seven yards of chicken manure. I've used chicken manure for the past couple years and uh, it's done pretty good for me. I tell you, that stuff is some real good stuff to grow in. Um, I let it sit at least two months or so before I plant anything. The place I'm getting it from, this guy cleans out his uh, chicken houses like every six weeks or something like that. So he, he has it piled up in a big pile. So it's, it's actually been sitting there breaking down for, for months when I get it. So I'm going to take you along for the ride and uh, hopefully I'll get some uh, a couple shots of him putting it in the trailer. Alright, see you in a bit. Mostly all chicken houses are down a dirt road. So if you happen to find one in your area, you will most likely be riding down a dirt road. Wow. Look at the chicken houses. He's got about four of them, so I'd say he's got plenty of chicken manure. Guys, this right here is a uh, chicken manure I got. Let me stand back and show you exactly how much I got. I got about uh, six scoops full, which I'm thinking uh, probably about six yards altogether. But uh, look at this stuff. This stuff is some good stuff. You let it break down over time. Especially for corn. Stuff will grow some corn here. Hey guys. Today is May 3rd, 2014 and I am really behind on my garden season this year. I started a new job back in November and it's uh, it turned out to be swing shifts so I'm working a lot of nights and switching to days and I just hadn't had the motivation to get out here and work in the garden and now this is what I got to deal with here no this is not plants this is weeds I've got weeds all over my garden and that just ticks me off even more this is my small garden over here that I had corn growing in. I just let everything go. But now, I've got a lot of work to do to pull these weeds. I was just not gonna have a garden season this year and just concentrate on getting all the weeds out and laying down some landscaping fabric or whatever. So I'm gonna get out here and try to pull all these weeds up. I might just get half the garden today and maybe couple days get the other half there's a lot of weeds out here hey guys I'm back I tilled everything under uh, tilled that right side over there looks pretty good it was a little worse than the left side but uh, right down the middle here I'm gonna take my lawnmower and just cut all that down when I get it started but I put up my first tomato trellis uh, it's kind of hard by yourself two people a lot easier but uh, I managed to get it up now I'm going to start working on the other one over there. And uh, hopefully I can get some seeds in the ground today, guys. Like I said earlier, I'm, it's May 3rd. I usually plant all my stuff at the end of March, 1st of April. 
and it's May 3rd and I'm just now planting. We also had a pretty late winter, so uh, it's probably best that I didn't plant early this year. But uh, hopefully uh, I'll have a good garden season. Um, I really don't like to have a, a ugly looking garden with all the weeds and stuff. So I'll try my best to uh, keep up with the weeds and uh, cut them down before they get out of control again. All right, guys, I'm gonna get to planting my seed and uh, put up my other tomato trellis. Uh, I'm really excited that uh, I'm gonna have a garden this year. I almost gave up because of all the weeds, but uh, I believe I'm gonna make it happen this year. All right, guys, see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching.